Granada was the last Moorish stronghold in Europe, falling in 1492 to the Catholic monarchs. Moorish influences still abound, and no more so than at the Alhambra Palace and Fortress, built during the 13th and 14th century by the Moorish kings. The Alhambra is a joy to behold, a perfect marriage of geometry and art. Its dimensions incorporate the golden ratio, a divine proportion mirrored numerous times in nature. The tiling patterns in the Alhambra use periodic symmetrical designs, which work on a basic unit that can be repeated indefinitely. I'd heard of a mountain in Granada where people lived in caves. I was told this was a dangerous area, frequented by gypsies, thieves and drug addicts. I decided I must visit this place and learn more. San Miguel Alto has some of the best views in Granada. Depending on the time of year, up to 300 people live here in caves dug into the side of the mountain. I arrived just as some of the inhabitants were cooking lunch on a very interesting looking dome-shaped contraption. Dr Sun, a German solar power technician, has been living in a cave for over a year, exploring low impact living. I asked him how his cooking machine worked. The solar cooking machine is using only direct radiation and it takes the whole surface into a parabolic form to reflect all the light into one or a bigger point in the middle. And this brings with this machine 220 degrees this is enough for cooking, baking, and doing all the stuff you do normally in the kitchen. Halfway through lunch, a herd of goats raced down the mountain. I moved to higher ground, where I met another group of cave dwellers. I spoke with Joanna Casa about the intricacies of cave living. Basically, the difficulties are to go the water, pero bueno si cargar cada día con tu agua para hacer la huerta también es mucha agua y después a nivel higiénico pues nosotros tenemos váter con que funciona con cal pero otra gente no tiene y pues te tienes que buscar un poco la vida no bajar al bar o <ríe> agujero en la tierra o lo que sea y si no qué más dificultades el, el frío en invierno pero la mayoría de cuevas tienen hoguera Así que bueno, ir a buscar tu maderita y tal, bueno, como todo el mundo. Y, y ya está. No tenemos luz tampoco, pero tampoco es considerado como una dificultad porque tenemos velas y la música, pues, escuchamos la radio. Me gusta el contacto que tenemos aquí con la tierra, vivir dentro de, de la tierra, poder sentir estos elementos ¿no? que tenemos encima y te influyen en lo que sueñas por la noche, tienes, es todo mucho más intenso, después te despiertas y sales y tienes la sierra nevada, la alhambra a tus pies y vamos, no sé, <ríe> es fantástico. ¿Qué más me gusta? La gente que, que vive por aquí, hay realmente muy, muy buen ambiente, hay gente de todas partes, músicos, artesanos, teatro de calle, un poco de todo, ¿no? todo variadito y realmente hay, muy, hay buena conexión entre unos y otros, al menos en este barranco estamos muy a gusto. As I headed down the mountain, the Andalusian sun setting on the majestic Alhambra, I felt very privileged to have visited this special place and found such a unique story. Once again I stayed with couch surfers, and my cave dweller story would not have been possible without the suggestions of David and Irene. 
It's a great way to meet locals. But the show must go on. Next stop, Valencia.